Nigeria generates an estimated 32 million tons of solid waste per year, one of the highest amounts in Africa. To beat this plastic pollution and create a safer environment, some locals in northern Nigeria are recycling the waste and turning them into more useful and highly desired products. Discarded buckets, food packs, electronic items and other kitchen utensils often end up on dump sites like this and in most cases they are burnt. Some recyclers are aware of the environmental hazards this potents source these materials from cleaning services or get local vendors to scurry different dump sites and pay them off. The process often begins with the sorting of materials by items and colors. It is then taken to this plastic processing factory where they are crushed with a machine. This organization roughly, especially when we are talking of this plastic site now, at least it involved more than 80 or 90 people just from plastic sites. We are even helping the people to clean or to hide they are waste. What maybe they have used it, they don't know where to place it, so we now come and recycle it. When all the plastic materials have been crushed, the pieces are then bagged, ready for the next phase of processing, which is production. Here, the pieces are converted into reusable household items. Where to sell the finished product is never a problem, as there is an already existing market, and that market determines what is produced. Reproduce like uh, buckets, washing hand bowl, uh, kettles, and many more. We need more people to come into this recycling business because what we are doing, I think, it cannot cover the waste that uh, we get from Nigeria. So we are just doing what we need. So surely, if there is need, I think our uh, investors, internal and external, have to at least come to business so that at least we'll know how to manage the resources coming from our west. Those in the business have found a way to work around some of the setbacks they encounter on the job, but there are others that require government intervention. These machines are always using power and as you know the national conditions, power is not steady. So we have been disappointed all the times and we have no even target to meet up because we don't have steady light. Uh, after it, the machineries, there are some machines that need it, latest machine that can at least work. Our other advanced countries are using that is very high, giving high production, better than one that we are using. UNOSA is also calling on the government to incorporate recycling into the education system to help people gain more knowledge and also generate new ideas on how to build the business. We are Dikunli, TV360 Nigeria.